back guys um so as you can tell by the title of this video i will be um showing you a product that i just recently purchased um and i'm looking forward to use now as you guys do uh, please excuse the hair um but as you guys know i do have kind of a shorter haircut right now um and my hair looks really funny especially because of the curl just one sec that looks a little bit better for now. So basically the reason why my hair looks like that is because, as you guys can see, I have a bunch of bobby pins in my hair. Because when I go to do my hair again, which I'll show you what I'm going to be using in a second, um, I'll be doing it right away. And the goal is to not cut off the hair that I do want to have, and to cut off the pieces that I don't want. So... <clears throat> the last time I cut my hair, which was just recently, um, I didn't really cut it, I trimmed it, um, so I trimmed some of the ends here on the longer part, and then I just also trimmed with a pair of scissors, by the way, a not so good pair of scissors, um, just trimmed up those parts, and this part right here, which keeps sticking up, I can flatten it with water, but... I figure, um, depending on what I'm going to do with my job, because I don't know what's going on with my other job right now, but I do now officially work for Wendy's part-time or full-time, trying to work that out, depending on the hours I can work. Um, so I might as well just rock a, um, side cut in the meantime as well. I'm growing out this hair, and then... I'm not going to be trimming the back of this. Um, I want to trim underneath here and then over here. Um, that way the back of my hair can just grow out. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm not sure if you guys can get a clear view of that. Let me try one more time. Get up in front. Give you guys a view once more. I'm not sure if you can completely see that. But... That is what the back of my hair feels like. Now I can tell how long it is because I can feel it, but you guys can't. So yeah, it's about that long. I don't want to say mid-neck, but I want to say like quarter neck. So it's, it's getting a little bit longer than what it was before. Although I did just trim off a tail. Because I don't necessarily like to have a tail. And there was this one little piece that I'm sure you guys have seen on the left side of my hair that just hung down. The, the stylist never cut it off. I don't know why. But, so anyways, on to the real. Oh, well, let's forget the past three minutes. Um, or some of it, at least. So, on to the real part of this video. So, I recently picked up with a gift card I got for Christmas, um that my uncle gives me every year. <clears throat> I'm lucky for that. I picked up this kit. So now instead of using like a basic razor or a shave blade or that pair of scissors, I have something that's a little bit more higher quality, I guess you could say. Um, and it is this Con Air Custom Cut Kit. And it is a 20-piece kit. Once more, sorry that everything is backwards. Basically, you get, like, a couple different sizes of blades, um, some clips up for your hair, which I could use, um, but since my hair is still kind of growing out right now, um, it's still kind of short, these clips might only work a little bit. I also have a pair of scissors, so that if I do want to cut my hair, cut it, not shave it or anything, I don't have to use these. And I also get some combs, which is a plus too, because lately I've been using my thinning razor, not that side, this side, without the bleed, um, for cutting my hair essentially. <clears throat> so this will work easier, that way I'm not thinning my hair out at the same time I'm cutting it, unless I actually want to, not by accident. Um, I also get a cape, um, some oil for the shaver blade up here, um, as well as a brush to essentially brush off the hairs off my neck and brush off, um, the, the blade thing right there. Um, and then of course I get the 
black part, which I'm about to show you when I break it down, and you also get a blade protector. So let me show you what's inside before I cut my hair. So here are the blade sizes. There are all different sorts. I think I saw the smallest blade is probably this one right here. Right here. It's somewhere. I think it's this one right here. Probably can't see it, but... Yeah, right there. And then, obviously, will come your shaver blade thingy that's already got the guard protector on it, which is a good thing. That way, when you open it up, you don't cut your hands. Um, and then, here's the scissors. The little brush, which they made it look bigger on the picture than it actually is in real person life. But the clips are pretty decent size. Um, and the scissors. So nothing to complain about. This was 15 bucks. 15, 16 dollars at Walmart. So, it's not too bad. And then plus, with this, I gotta figure out how this works before I just go in chopping my hair. Um, there is a taper. So I guess it goes faster depending on, um, you know, how fast, um, how fast it goes, I guess. It also said that it was supposed to come with the instruction booklet, which is right here. Let me close this up before I end up cutting myself, which I am prone to do. Now that's where it gets tricky. There we go. Almost there. Snap! There it is. So I'm gonna read this through really quickly. Figure out what exactly to do. And then I'll make a video of me hopefully not shaving all of my head off. Um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cover this up too because I'm gonna cover this up just to ensure that I'd rather cut another piece of material rather than shave up my head. Well, the part that, you know. You get what I mean. Alright, so I will see you guys soon, and um, if I haven't mentioned it already, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading videos the past couple of days. It's just been treacherous, it's been laughable, and I will discuss what's gone on the past couple of days with you in another video. Alright, like, subscribe, and comment, please do, and I will see you in my next video. And once more, please forgive me for not looking pretty full.